Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to this lecture. So, this in this entire series of lecture, we'll be taking up this particular petrol bunk construction, and we'll see that. So, this is divided into three parts. The three part is that. So, this is a RCC building. This entire part, we'll be trying to see that not the uh, complete each and everything because already in my basic course I've covered everything. I will be trying to see how these uh, poles and how these uh, you know flashings are arranged, and then you can see this entire thing here. One, two, three. We have a bunker over there. That is where all your petrol and diesel is stored. We'll try to see this in the three uh, different stages. So to put it in a better way, so we'll see from here. Like this is how that entire construction started, and this is a place where you keep that bunker where you store the petrol or a diesel. Okay. So in this way, step by step, I'll be teaching you whatever images and videos I have. And once we are done with this, like this is how you keep that bunker. Okay. And once you keep the bunker, you put all the sand and then this is the final look how it looks. And then obviously, once you do the uh, final uh, connections and all to that, this is how it looks. Got it? So once this thing is done, this is that entire bunker. Yeah, let me show you that bunker once it is done. Yeah, this is how it looks. Okay. Then this is one stage of construction. The second stage is this particular building. It's a RCC building, the one which we saw, right? So this is that entire building and this is a normal construction what we saw. Uh, see okay so i think all these things are very familiar with in my basic course so i'll be quickly running through all these things and uh, so how the beam bottoms are put up and finally this is that office building which you saw so two are done and the third one is this particular part right so we i have explained to this part the bunker part is already here you can see it here this is my bunker part and then we'll see the steel column erections that steel column erections will be starting in this way one two three four columns and on these four columns, you are going to do the erection of your steel columns. So uh, this is how those, uh, uh, you know, uh, the anchor bolts are put up. And once the anchor bolts are put up, we'll be keeping the steel column. I have a lot of videos on this and we'll try to uh, explain you through uh, with the help of uh, videos. And this is how it is arranged. And finally, once it is arranged, this is how it looks. Okay. Yeah. So this is how it looks. And I don't have the video of a flashing, but it's very simple. I'll be explaining you. And finally, this is how those petrol uh, two bunks are put up. Okay, these are your petrol uh, uh, tank. And then uh, this is that building. And finally, this is a look what you get. And finally, once all the construction happened, this is the final look you are going to get. You got my point? So this was your office building. This was your steel, one, two, three, four. And your bunker, whatever you had kept, no, that is here, one, two, and two on this side. Of course, a small toilet area and the water, uh, uh, I mean, this is a place where you can uh, drink water. That has been set up over there. Okay. So I hope you have got an idea like what we are going to learn this ent in this entire series of lectures. So we'll quickly uh, break into this this entire lecture into parts and we'll try to take uh, take them uh, step by step. Right. So we'll start with the first thing. Yeah. So first is always whenever you do the excavation, I mean, whenever you start with any construction work, you're supposed to do the excavation. So this is a plot what we had. We are done excavation roughly around seven to eight feet of excavation was done. So you can see the excavation has been done. And once we do excavation, obviously we always put PCC, which is called as plain cement concrete. So you can see it here, both the side, we have put plain cement concrete and then you're supposed to do the curing, right? So this much is clear. Uh, I don't have a drawing for this particular building, but uh, we, we know how, how it is mentioned in the drawing and all. Now quickly, uh, if I ask you to find the excavation quantity, you can do that. So quickly, let me rem remind you just to brush up your basics so we know how to find the excavation quantity i'll be knowing the length i'll be knowing i mean I, I mean i'll be knowing the breadth of my this thing i'll be knowing the length of this and i'll be knowing the depth of this if i multiply the three quantities i'll get the total soil that has been ex excavated very simple now if i ask you can you tell me the pcc quantity of that again it's a very same calculation i'll be knowing the length of this i mean the breadth of this i'll be knowing the length of this and the thickness is usually 100 mm what we try to keep. And if I multiply this by 100 mm, 0.1 meter, I, I'll get the PCC quantity. Very simple. These things we can do. So once that is done, once the PCC is put, next we are supposed to put the raft there. So we have put around a 10 inch of raft there. Okay, 10 inch of raft. So before putting a raft, what we are supposed to do, we are, we are supposed to keep the reinforcement, right? Since it's a raft and the entire load of uh, this uh, is coming on that. You're supposed to put a rough. So that is why what we have done. Once we are done with the PCC, you can see a PCC here. Okay. So this is a, in the bottom portion. There is a PCC over that. We have put a 10 diameter bar. That is a steel mesh. Okay. 
uh, like we do it for the footing, the same thing we have done it here. Okay, horizontal and vertical. I think we had kept around 150 center to center spacing, both along the shorter and the longer span. Okay, great. And then you can see a kind of a chair. So this is a kind of a chair what is they have kept. Not the typical chair what we see in the RCC. This is a different chair what is available in the market. Okay, it will be something like this. So the main intention of keeping this is to keep your bunker, like whatever that um, bunker I'm going to show you in my further slides. So we are supposed to keep it, right? So that is why this is a kind of arrangement done for that. And in this way, what we are going to do, we are going to keep the, we are going to rest our bunker over that. Okay. So that is why we already kept it. And there is certain spacing to be kept in between this. So we kept it roughly at uh, around five feet. So the distance between the uh, this two. This two is roughly around, uh, not five feet. Uh, we had kept it for uh, three feet. Yeah? Three feet, three feet, three feet, and three feet. So in this way, at certain three, three feet distance, we had kept it. And once we had kept it, next what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to put the concrete into this. So we had ordered a concrete through a transit mixer. And once it reaches, we are supposed to pour the concrete here. And it was a 10 inch concrete what we had put. So you can see it here. So you can see the reinforcement, right? So you can see the reinforcement. And over that, we started doing the concreting of this. So this will be act like a raft for my uh, particular um, bunker. Okay. I hope this much things are clear. Again, you know how to calculate the concrete for the uh, this particular raft again i will be knowing the length I, I mean the breadth the length and then i'll be knowing the thickness which is 10 inches so if you multiply the three you are going to get the concrete quantity required here great so once that is done you can see it here see this was the raft what we had put okay you can see the chair one two three four so once that is done next we are supposed to uh, do the construction of this with the help of a block work now why this is done so we are going to place two bunkers like that means we are going to keep one bunker here one bunker will be here. I'll do it in this way. One bunker will be yeah. One bunker will be placed on this particular thing. Okay. In this area. And the other bunker will be placed in this particular area. Okay. It depends. Uh, maybe if you're using a two bunker, maybe this is for the petrol. This bunker you are going to use for the petrol. And this bunker you are going to use for the diesel. Okay. Depends what you want to do. So that is why we have done two bunk uh, two separation here. This is for bunker number one. This is for bunker number two. And then what we have done, we have started to lay the block work here. So you can see all these other uh, cement blocks what we get. Okay. And we have started to keep the cement block here. So in this way, we try to keep it. Again, you can see it here. This entire length. See, this where the uh, 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 chair what we had kept. And this are the block work what you have started to do with. Right. So I hope up to here your concepts are clear. So once you're done, you are going to reach up to the top of the ground level. Like we, we started from here, right? We reach up, we are going to do up to this level. That is, yeah. So from here, we'll do up to this level. Okay. So in the next slide, I have shown you that particular level where we have reached. You can see we have reached up to this top level. Here we have done the plastering. Next year, supposed to do the plastering here. So you can see these people have done the plastering. It's very simple. I think I'm not going, you know. Uh, in a detailed step by step because it's a now you are in a position to understand all these things since you have enrolled in my basic courses and all so don't expect to be a that kind of a person where i'll be teaching you everything uh, from the basic now the moment i say all these things you should have that uh, you know idea uh, okay this is how it has been done when i say the plastering has happened obviously the block work might have finished and they started with the plastering and all so you are in that position now okay so again, you can see it here. Okay, this is one more image I had taken. Okay, so the whatever plastering I had shown, the inside part they have done the plastering. This is the entire block work they have done. Okay, the next block work you can see they are going to do it here. I'll show you how this bunker was placed. Not an issue, but just understand why that particular block was done. Okay, now you got an idea. See, this is the entire uh, uh, this thing, uh, block what we had finished. Already we have placed one bunker here. Next we are going to place it here. Okay, done. So once that is done. Next, we are going to place the bunker. So this kind of bunker will be available now. See, there are different um, companies uh, which which is into this petroleum work. I mean, we have uh, at least in India we have HP, we have Bharat Petroleum. Uh, nowadays, Shell 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 company has come. So those people will be providing you all this tanker and all. I mean, the bunker and all. You just have to bring it. This is called as the crane. With the crane, we are going to lift it and then we are going to place it here. So you are, you are not going to place this directly on the piece on the raft. So that is why what we had done. You can see the kind of a chair what we had kept. No, we are going to keep that on the chair. Okay. So in this way, it will be taken. And then with the help of two person, we are going to keep it here. So you can see one, two, three, four here. So this four will be exactly 
uh, you know, sitting on this particular chain and then with the help of a rod, we are going to fix it so that there is no movement of that. Okay. So you can see, finally, we have kept it here. Okay. So once you have kept it here, yeah, this is how it is. Already we have kept it here. So you can see, once it is kept, next you can see how the arrangement has been done. This was the chair and this is the uh, portion of your bunker. So with the help of the uh, rod, I mean with the help of a nut, what we have done, we have tried to fix it. Okay. You get a nut, you just have to pass through this and through this arrangement, you are going to lock it so that your bunker doesn't, you know, uh, go here and there. Very simple. And these people will take care of all those things. You don't have to worry if you are put in such kind of projects. Uh, those people will take care of uh, this. Only the thing is you should make sure that when they are placing the bunker, they're exactly coming like one, two, three, four points are coming exactly on this chair. Okay. Got it? Very simple. Yeah. So you can see now one, two, three, four. And you also you can see it from the left side also, right? Yeah. So this this water we have done for the curing purpose. Okay. Since the slab was cast, it isn't it? We started with the curing of that. Yeah. Very simple. Chalo. So, so again, this is understood. Yeah. And finally, once that is done, once you have fixed all those things, then these people will come. And uh, what we are going to do, we are going to connect a pipe to this. Okay, this is a pipe what they have connected. The same pipe will be utilized later to pass the petrol or a diesel into this. But now, since it's a new tank, we don't know whether the tank is of good quality or not. So what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to do the testing of a tank, right? Now, what we do, we try to fill the water into that and we'll try to wait for at least 24 hours and check if there is any leakage in the tank or not. Because if you don't check it now, in future, when you fill that with petrol or diesel, and it's a big problem for us, right? Even though it has, it, this particular tank might have gone through a lot of uh, quality test and all, but still it's our duty uh, to do the uh, test on that. So that is why once the tank is placed on its position, the next step is to check for any leakages. The tank is filled with water till it's completely filled. We are going to fill, you can see a pipe which has been passed here. We have filled that with the water. The capacity, nah, one more thing, the capacity of this particular tank is 20,000 liters. Okay. So once the tank is full, it is allowed for water to stay there for 24 hours and check if there is any leakages. We are going to fix in a uh, pressure gauge into this to check the pressure in the tank. Okay. I'll be showing you that also. You can see this guy uh, is filling the water into this and this is how that uh, entire water has been filled. So this is a pressure gauge what we have set up. Now through this pressure gauge, we get an idea like what is the pressure in the tank, whether any leakages has happened or not. Okay. Through this, uh, we are going to do the test so that we can come to a conclusion that there is no leakage in the tank and we can start with the next process, right? So once that is done, this is the final look what we can see. Then what we are supposed to do, we are going to fill that with sand. Okay. Since um, you are going to fill in the petrol into this, again, that is why what, what will happen, we are going to fill that, uh, this particular area into the, I mean, this entire pit, whatever we have, no, we are going to fill that in, uh, fill, fill that by sand. Again, at once we are not going to do the filling. We'll, maybe, we'll be filling that in uh, three or four layers. So one layer will fill, we'll put water into that. And again, you are going to fill. So we are going to fill till we reach this particular level. So the top level we are supposed to fill. Okay. So you can see it here. One layer they have done. This is the second layer what they have put. So in this way, what we are going to do, we are going to fill. This is another tank. Altogether, four, altogether, altogether three tanks we have done. Okay. So finally, you can see it here. This is one tank, second tank, and this is another tank. Got it? So the, pr pr the procedure remains the same. You, uh, I mean, it's the same thing. You have to do excavation, uh, put the PCC, keep those chairs, and over that you are going to place your bunker, and then you are going to do the uh, sand filling to that, and then the plastering and the block work will happen. Got it? Yeah. So finally, you can see we have filled into the third layer now, and finally we have reached to this level where all the filling has happened. You're getting my point? Yeah. So this is another picture of that. Yeah. And finally, once that is done, you are going to do a small kind of uh, arrangement here, a small block work will be built around this part around this part one and two part same thing one and two part okay and finally you're going to put a slab over that and later if you remember these two particular one and two these are the same thing which i saw uh, which i had shown you here if i go back here no so if you just closely observe you can see this part and this part exactly these two part are the same thing that we are going to see it later but for that what will happen this is how we are going to do I'll go back now. Yeah. Got it? So these are that same two part. So I hope by this time you have got an idea like how these things are done. Okay. And finally the sand filling will happen. 
so you can see okay this this image should have come before no issues this is the first thing after that we are going to uh, put that with the i mean we are going to construct a small block a block around that area okay and all these are the pipe connections we are going to give because finally all this pipe whatever you can see they will be buried under the soil and then we are going to put a, a kind of a bed concrete over that okay and through this only all your petrol or the diesel is going to come inside the tank okay so it will be buried later so that is why we have given opening here like one two and three so that uh, how how we are going to fill this particular tank uh, you are going to get in the big truck from the petroleum department they are going to get petrol or diesel once you order and they'll have certain uh, arrangements done on the other side and through that uh, the petrol will pass through this particular tank okay very simple so you got an idea finally so one and two here so this is how it is arranged so this were the two tanks and two things we have arranged it here and finally this guy is doing that work okay so this should have come earlier no issues again in this way we'll try to keep a block and we'll finish it now you can see finally once you have filled all the sand this is a level level where we have reached so one and two part we can see it here so this particular area will have a lot of uh, you know uh, advanced uh, electrical equipments into this it will have sensor and all because no other person can come and open this so it will have a sensor it will have a locking system and all so that the authorized person only can come and fill in the uh, petrol and tank and also they'll be having a, a keyword or they'll be having a password which is known only to the petrol bunk people and the person who gives them petrol maybe the hp people or the indian oil or somebody like that because what will happen this people the owner of the owner of this tank in future if if someone is giving them petrol for a very lesser price they may even opt for those people even though the company is hp indian oil or uh, bharat petroleum these people may take it from the local vendors also so, so then it will create a problem for this particular uh, uh, this thing a uh, client like hp and all so that is why they have a lot of sensors here only when these people give permission like the hp petroleum only then this lock is going to open up got it so that is why uh, it's very difficult for you to you know uh, i mean you, when once you're uh, once you're constructing a petrol bunk if it is indian oil pet, uh, bharat petroleum you have to get petrol or diesel from those people you cannot bring it from somebody else so there is a lot of advanced you know sensors put up here only through that uh, it's going to open up okay yeah so once that is done finally we are going to put a, a raft over this okay raft of course in bottom we had put now again to close all these things we are going to put a raft over this very simple again what we had done we reached up to this level we have put up a shuttering here in this way and this is a normal reinforcement what we are supposed to provide because again it there won't be much load coming on that okay this reinforcement are just put to take care of the tension cracks which is going to arise that's it so normal uh, thing they have put up it's a kind of a crank bar here okay so there is no much detailing required you just put a crank bar okay, in this way the bar will come in the bottom it will go straight and then again it will get crank here the normal one way slab it's a kind of a one way slab by looking at it by looking at that you can come to a conclusion right why it is one way slab because you see this length this is shorter span and obviously this is very this is a longer span so it becomes my uh, one way slab and always on the shorter side we are going to put that crank is it it so the same concept applies here you can see bar has come here it has got crank gone straight then again it has got crank it has come here again the same thing will be followed throughout everywhere okay got it very simple and once this is done again uh, this particular uh, what is what is that uh, slab is again a uh, 12 inch which comes out to be roughly 1 feet or 300 mm of a thickness is thickness we are going to maintain here so once all the shuttering work are done so this is how it looks finally okay so again what they have done they have again given a kind of a uh, support to this part 1 2 3 4 because this is one tank if you remember earlier we started like this right this was my tank number 1 this was my tank number 1 and this was my tank number 2 now in each of the tank what we had 1 and 2 opening and 1 and 2 opening let us consider this tank is for the petrol this tank is for the diesel right so once everything is done we have given an arrangement something like this so that here itself you are going to fix that a kind of um uh, uh, plate so that tomorrow you can take it out and you can fill the petrol there okay got it so the arrangement also you, you have got an idea how the arrangement has been done here in the bottom they have put a polythene sheet so that what will happen uh, your concrete will not uh, you know flow out from there and it will get a uniform surface that is why that polythene sheet has been put up over there again the very simple thing the shuttering is a normal shuttering we do for the plinth beam and all now you can see a kind of uh, this thing cable here so all these are cable 
are passing through this particular thing one cable from here and here also we have passed a cable so these cables will be later connected to all those advanced sensor and only through that what will happen your yeah, this particular area is going to open up okay you can see the cable which has been passed here again you can find the shuttering quantity of this very simple how do you find the shuttering quantity we know the length of this so we know this length we know this depth if i multiply both i'm going to i'm going to get the shuttering quantity for this side similarly if i take this length and if i multiply this by the depth of this i'll get the shuttering quantity here similarly if i take this length and if i multiply this by the depth of this i'll get the shuttering quantity here same thing on the other side okay very simple and can you find the concrete quantity again it's very simple i know the length i know the breadth and the thickness i told it is one feet which is 12 inches multiply all the three things you're going to get the concrete quantity required here very simple yeah done so once uh yeah so this side is already already casted but i'll be showing you for this part again here also we have done the same arrangement and finally you can see these people they are placing the concrete here okay so you can see and they are making use of needle vibrator and they are placing the concrete here again if you are working in a bigger company let us say if this work was given to some uh, big mnc company and all we remember the checklist and all right before concreting you are supposed to check their reinforcement check whether the vibrator is uh, proper whether, whether they are using the vibrator properly or not and all those things has to be taken care and you can see finally they have brought a cement bag and all and you know how to calculate the cement bag and all right we know i have explained you all these things uh, how to calculate the cement bags and all it's very simple and finally see how the concreting is being done so this particular area since it's a very big slab no it's difficult it's a very big slab what we have so what they did they did the concreting up to this portion they have put a kind of a barrier here so that the concrete will stop there okay a kind of a barrier has been put up here and then the other part they are going to do the concreting very simple chalo yeah finally they have reached up to this portion and finally this is how your slab looks so it's a almost a 12 inch uh, thick what we had put one feet and this is how it looks you can see it here this is how it looks and finally once that is done next day you are supposed to do the deshattering of that since it's a vertical element according to the code we know that after 24 hours we are supposed to do the deshattering next day we came we did the deshattering of that you can see all the deshattering has been done so this particular is almost 1 ft which is 12 inches and 1 2 3 4 openings we had so 1 2 3 and 4 opening we had and finally you are supposed to do the curing of this got it and curing since it's a slab we are going to do or we are going to adopt the ponding method where we can do the curing of this so great so in this way the entire construction of this particular bunk has happened i mean this particular uh, area where the tank will be kept now just rethink how did we start we started from this portion right this was my ground level we did the excavation we put the pcc then we put the that we kept the chair we put the reinforcement for the raft we did the raft concreting then all around we started with the construction of the block work then we placed the bunker into that then we filled that with the sand layer uh, three four layers right then we came to the top level once we reached to the top level wherever the opening was supposed to be kept we kept a opening to that we connected all that through a pipe okay so we connected all that through a pipe and then finally all those arrangements will be done by those people the uh, advanced um, uh, sensor um, cables and all okay and then finally what we did we did the concreting of this and once the concreting happened we did we started with the curing again for at least 7 days we started with the curing of this and everywhere the finish the surface is also very good there is no much problem with that right so i hope you have enjoyed this lecture up to here so in the next lecture we'll see how this particular area was uh, constructed so the, my the the bunker portion is done next we'll we'll be taking up the office building it's a very small part and we are very good in all these things because we know uh, in the basic course that i have explained you all these things in step by step in a 42 hours of a lecture maybe in one or two lecture i'll be finishing up this part and once this is done next we'll start with how this particular four columns was erected so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you